We have got a rod and reel and full tackle kit in this box right here. Can you believe it? Um, this is from a company called Plus Inno. They contacted me recently and asked me if I would review their product and I said yes. So here we have it. A very, very compact, uh, ultra lightweight travel rod. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm opening up the box and the first thing I see is a tiny little rod here in, in a sleeve. Um, <laughs> this is the whole thing. Looks like a little 1000 size reel. It's extremely lightweight, plastic housing. Comes pre-spooled with what is probably about six pound uh, mono. And the bale feels pretty sturdy. I'll mess with the drag later. There is anti-reverse. Okay. So we have a little tackle box. All right, so we have, uh, looks like a deep diving um, crankbait. Pretty nice looking actually. It's got some rattle to it and it's semi-opaque. Got some other assorted things here. This is definitely not a bad starter kit. I think it would have been great if they had taken the time to include maybe a one sheet just explaining what the heck this stuff is. Because if you're if you're the kind of fisherman who wants to spend a very small amount of money, you know, maybe you're buying this for a child or, or maybe you literally have never fished before but think it's cool, you may not actually know, you know, what the heck to do with this. <laughs> and you may not have anybody to ask and you may not even know what it's called to be able to search it online um, so that would have been kind of helpful I'm gonna open up this little rod and see what we have tip keeper here four guides so with telescoping rods you always want to start extending them from the top and work your way down and then when you put the rod back you want to go in the opposite direction you want to start putting it back from the base of the rod and then work your way to the tip all right, so make sure it's fully extended. This is, I think it's a four foot six rod. These guides, by the way, are plastic, lightweight foam grip. All right, so let's get the little reel seated in here. Pretty standard, goes right in, nice and sturdy. Let's get this strung up and throw on a grub or something and go fishing. I will say I'm really impressed with the balance of this little setup. It feels very, very well balanced and uh, it's nice and comfortable to hold. I like the color of it. <laughs> but let's see what happens. Oh, that's some loud ass drag. Wow. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that was a pretty impressive bird nest um, on about the fourth cast with this little rod and reel. Um, I think that, you know, I touched the drag. <laughs> it was what happened. So I'm gonna toss my line. Um, Retie, maybe I'll try that little swim bait, but that's not a particularly encouraging sign. All right, so we've retied, we've got the uh, little swim bait on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with the drag a little bit more. Let's see how much noise it makes. Well, <laughs> good news, bad news here. Uh, <laughs> I got a fish and it is a chain pickerel. So, 
The good news is I actually managed to catch a fish. The bad news is this guy's got teeth. So these are beautiful, beautiful fish. Holding them like this, the long-bodied fish like this is not great for them. Um, so I'm gonna try and just get him back into the water as quick as I can, but it's a little tricky with these teeth. All right, there we go. And he swims off healthy, which I'm relieved. I don't know if you can see the action of this lure underwater, but it's a really nice action. No idea what it is, it came with this rod. Uh, it's got a little rattle in it, got some weights. It's a, it's a you know medium to deep diver, but I think that blue color is really working because this pond has tons of bluegills in it and red breasts. Um, and this kind of walk the dog action seems to be really working for the pickerels. Slime shark. Now I gotta get him off. This is a smaller one. I was just leaving and thought I'd throw out one more cast and uh, here we have it. Three chain pickerel here in less than an hour. Now I've got to put the camera down so I can uh, get this guy off and, and uh, set him free. But beautiful fish. Um, Lots of fun to catch. Let me just get him free quickly. Okay, so it's about time for me to get going. Um, I'm gonna wrap up this review of the Plus Inno telescoping rod. Um, as you saw, it will catch fish, but the drag system, totally useless in my opinion. Uh, the rod has a lot of parabolic action, meaning it's really floppy, um, kind of noodly. Uh, and you know overall I mean look you get what you pay for it's a plastic reel if you're buying something and you just want to spend a few dollars for like a kid uh, for their very first rod this is definitely better than those Disney superhero type of um, things that you can pick up for nine bucks in that respect it's fine the drag is no real hauling power at all even for those little chain pick roll that I caught I caught three of them at least one of them I had to high stick just to get it out of the water it's not a great endorsement however I will say that this little lure that they included was fantastic and caught me three chain pick rolls in about an hour so yay on that no idea what it is it's a semi clear uh, lure, you know, diving swim bait. Man, the fish in this pond love that. So overall, I mean, look, I would give this Placino rod like a C grade. Like I said, if you're purchasing something for a child, or if you just want a very, very low cost and highly portable rod, reel, and small tackle kit, it's a great value for $34. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment down below.